global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Global Happenings. Today we have a trending news for you and the headline reads MNK, that's Mazenam de Kanu, issues 10 warnings to Uzodema Governor Hope Uzodema Senator Roger Sokorocha and vows to do this. But see details, but before we go into the news proper and further analysis, we do love you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel. Okay, let's go straight into the news. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazen Nambekano, has issued warnings to the governor of Imo State, Governor Hope Uzadama, and Rogers Owele Korocha over what he said to be forceful takeover of Imo governorship seat by the APC. Kano disclosed that Usadema is a storage of the caliphate like Kurocha before him and claimed that the move to install Usadema was more religious than political and has vowed to resist such move. According to IPOB leader, the decision to first Usadema on the state as governor is part of a grand conspiracy against southeastern geopolitical zone by forces loyal to the caliphate and the presidency to him the better option for the court would have been to order a repeat of election in the disputed polling unit the ipob leader who spoke on the 19th edition of the international brokers from the united kingdom that's talking about february 29 2020 said uzodema is an imposition a caliphate stooge stooge and a full and slave the forces want to determine what happens in Imo state what they want to occupy is Oweri, the spiritual center of Biafra land, because they believe they can strangulate us from Imo state. Uzodema is a storage of the caliphate like Okorocha before him. The plan cannot stand. I don't know who here there is and I don't care, but we won't allow the imposition of a storage to stand in order to avert disaster. The best thing they, that justices of our court should do is to redeem themselves, is to call for a fresh election in the disputed areas. The imposition of the governor is unsustainable in law before man and before God. Justice must be served. All right, that's the news. That's what MNK says concerning the issue of um, he, and uh, Hope Uzodema. Obviously, he said he does not know um, Emekahedoha personally, but it's a case of injustice. But before we go into proper analysis of what he has said and what people are saying generally, let's hear what Nigerians are saying online concerning this. But before, we will not take much, probably take three and we'll go into the analysis proper. Here, this one says, Our master has become a commentator and Biafra declaration kept in view. Mm, that's not true. He's addressing issues as they come. This one here says, It go better if you mind your struggle to actualization of Biafra and stop meddling in our local politics before you lose focus. Respect, Kano. Uh, that's not it. The truth of the matter is, uh, a lot of things are happening, and he wouldn't have responded if he uh, hasn't, if he didn't, you know, concern the issue of um, uh, jurisdictions. If you watch the places he mentioned, are places that concerns uh, Biafra geopolitical zone, the states he has uh, uh, that have been uh, marked for Biafra land. Imo state is purely an Igbo, Igbo, Igbo. Uh, speaking states for those who seem to be shouting that they uh, no, we don't want biafra Ibo imo state is purely one and the fact that before now there have been owele rogers okorocha who a lot of persons could named him okorawosa not because his name is okorawosa but because he behaved more like an awesa man he behaved more like the northerner than the south Eastern that he he is so he's now saying look um the way things are going, it, it, the script, as if the script or agreed uh, um, document signed between a governor, allegedly, because this one is assumed that um, Governor Hope was at the moment, 
uh, sign some uh, agreement between them and the uh, the cabals that would have made insisted that he should become governor so that some of the agreed excuse me some of the um agreement signs should begin to come into place like where in anywhere in nigeria will you see a, a, a when in the particular in the northern state will you see a, 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 a christian a, a, a christian president being given recognition to the point of you know giving physical spiritual moral and financial support none but it Hope was that they practically celebrated the Imam and even went further to say it's going to give them so much support. I'm not against it, but the fact that he's making a show out of it, judging the fact that the same Imo states that um, fairly recently Imo lights, I'm talking about Ahiazum Bise, Ehite, Ehite Bise, yeah. I has been saying uh, there was the, the youth in the most states there heard that there's some Fulani headsmen that are into hiding that came to a filling station to stay. So the youth came out all out wanting to, you know, you know, drive them away. Information reaching the security agency said they were they were not just them um, uh, Fulani men. They were not actually Fulani men, but they were Niger people from Niger Republic who have been working in Imo State for over five years. What they do is they move from local government to local government. That means they even may know the local government of Imo State more than some indigenous of Imo who have not been in Imo for a while. So all this speaks volumes. A lot of things are coming into play here. It clearly shows that um, the state governors are not really watching. They are, they are not on top of their job. And if they are on top of their job, they are probably doing the biddings of those who have installed them. So he's not saying, he's not saying um, I am not interested in any other thing. What I'm saying is don't bring in people that our people didn't vote in for, like the issue of bringing in um, who's hope was the man. I'm barely four months in, in the city. Hope was the man started inaugurating imam in the state. I started making promises he's going to take care of them, that they're not second-class citizens. Even without even saying it, the whole Nigeria knows that the presidency give preferential treatment to Fulani Hesman. Some of the things Fulani Hesman do, if any tribe should do it, they would have been tempted terrorists they would have been termed names that is unfathomable but they do things they get away with the nigerians who scream shout nothing is being done no arrest is done nothing is placed on them so uh, imagine them the kind of saying that justice should prevail uh, if you check the mandates no matter what anyone will say because you show my life something quite unique he said uh, uh, the best rigor in Nigerian election takes the day. Don't forget that there was supposed to be a hearing. Apex called that the Supreme Justice is supposed to have a hearing today, which is the Monday, but it has been shifted to Tuesday. This is the third time. This is the second time, yeah? The second time it is being shifted. No, the first one, they did a review. They said, okay, let them pick a date. They picked a date. The lawyers of um, a, a PDP shifted the review. Now this one has also been shifted to the one thing is certain the whole world is watching but if they like let them shift it to god knows when the truth of the matter is they will reveal at some point although uh, Mazen and the kind of made a particular suggestion said look if they can't if the what they need to do they must reverse that um verdict they gave that if they can't give back the mandates to hope of the um, and let there be a fresh elections i have member of the opinion that if there's a fresh election there's going to be a massive rigging which pdp may not be able to you know contain uh e-voting is not we don't have the mechanism yet for e-voting so it coming out is it's gonna be i would have said that instead of going for another um elections which may not favor uh governor being the father there are no elections around the corner yet just in most state elections if INEC is to do a rerun you know a, a repeat of the election so all federal might may likely be there and Emeka Hedoha may not take the day I would have preferred if there has been if they don't have proof which I believe they don't have anyway of hopes or them are winning there's no proof because you are not even there the, you are not INEC so how do you know which ones are verified and which ones are not verified accredited voters that you just pick arbitrarily and put it has to be INEC if INEC said this is what is accredited this is the number of voters that voted and this is the, the number of persons the number of votes that accrue to 
this person has opened the door and the market head door should be respected because you are not they are an independent but independent body you should trust them enough to trust their word that's why you have called them independent electoral commission so if they're independent whatever they say should be final then based on their results what you're going to put as a verdict but all of a sudden you nullify the verdict and uh, the results given by INEC and you produce you reproduce your own based on what hope Zodima brought in who is there an INEC official signed? Is it signed by the overall INEC official to say that it is the verdict that you would agree that Hope Zodima's verdict is correct and you therefore nullify the verdict of INEC over Mekanyedo and give it to Hope Zodima? So you know, the whole thing doesn't jive. If you don't believe in the independence of INEC, then you shouldn't have given them to because you should have made them independent any anyway. But be that as it may, I feel that. Um, the verdict should go back to um, Mekanyedoha, but this is Nigeria. Everything and anything is possible. They shifted it by one day, but we're still hopeful, we're still expectant. The, hopefully, they won't shift it again. We'll get to find out who takes the day. But I feel that uh, going forward, you know, the Ipo, people of Imola, they have been protests, they have been spiritual prayers, they have been matches, you know, in Imo state, we as a lot of Christians have been praying for Imo and praying for the fact that a supreme a best court should reverse their verdict. So you find that from feelers, you find that Imo life generally would prefer that Emeka should continue with his mandate. But then it's not for us to decide, it's for the apex court to decide. Now the question is, will they do the needful? Will they do the needful by giving Emeka here that which was actually was his or would they love to you know keep sustain hopes that they might be in the fact that they have sanctioned two lawyers i'm talking about um, the lawyers representing leon's on bias state um uh, rerun a uh, bias state um verdict because they had called for the review of um uh, leon's um Dere and leon's uh, bias state elections and by so doing the uh, supreme court uh, trashed their their uh, review and said it was an insult that that's what those are senior lawyers and slammed the senior lawyers 30, 30 million naira for even thinking of reviewing the epic cause you know judgment you know that was supposed to be like a sign and hope was that they were so happy happy being that they have trashed out what um, um uh, biasa state uh, uh Leon's came up, came up with. So he's hopeful that if they can trash out Leon's case, then they will definitely trash out uh, Mecca and Yedeha's case. But they are both different. And let's see what they will do. Would they like to face the verdict of the national, international bodies by slamming them with sanctions, or sanctions? Or will they do the need for by you know disobeying uh, the laws, the powers that be, and giving the verdict to the people's mandate, giving the mandate to the people by allowing Emeka here to complete his tenure. But that's my take on this. Um, uh, uh, has spoken decisively on this, and let's see what will happen by tomorrow if the APS court will do the needful and the fact that IPOB members have made up their mind to keep fighting on the emo state is.